नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन थ्री लेवल आर्किटेक्चर ऑफ डी बी एम एस एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ मैपिंग बिटवीन द व्यूज इन दिस सेशन लेट स्टार्ट दिस सेशन एज डिस्कस्ड इन अवर लास्ट सेशन देर आर थ्री लेवल ऑफ डी बी एम एस वन इज एक्सटर्नल लेवल सेकेंड इज कंसेप्चुअल लेवल एंड थर्ड वन इज इंटरनल लेवल बिटवीन दीज लेवल्स देर इज अ मैपिंग you can see that there is a mapping between external and conceptual mapping this is a external and conceptual mapping for user b and this is external conceptual mapping for user a then we have another mapping between conceptual and internal level and we call this mapping as conceptual internal mapping so the role of this mapping is to map one level with another level so external level is mapped with conceptual level by using external conceptual mapping and conceptual level is mapped with internal level by using conceptual internal mapping the first mapping is external conceptual mapping so external conceptual mapping map the logical record in external view to one or more records in conceptual view so it basically map external records with conceptual records let us consider an example to understand the concept of this mapping let's suppose we have a student table at conceptual level where we have column like row number first name and last name while the user at external level b who belongs to library want to access name information of the student so for user at library the information is name and this name is retrieved from conceptual level by concatenating first name and last name or by joining first name and last name so this name at external level is mapped to the first name and last name of conceptual level so for external view it refers to name but for conceptual view it refers to combination of first name and last name this first name and last name are concatenated to provide the name information at external level so you can see that a number of conceptual field can be combined into a single external field so here single external field is name and that single external field is created by combining both first name and last name of the student and sometime a given external record could be derived from number of conceptual record for example if we are looking for total number of students then this information of external level will be created by counting all the records at conceptual level at conceptual level we may have a set of 50 records but these set of 50 records give a single value as a total count 50 at external level so this 50 is derived from a number of conceptual records so this is the importance of external conceptual mapping we also have one more mapping called as conceptual internal mapping this is the mapping between conceptual level and internal level and the mapping is called as conceptual internal mapping as we have discussed in last case here we have a student table with row number first name and last name but this table is physically stored in this disk which is placed at internal level so the retrieval of this data from hard disk is achieved by conceptual internal mapping so this enable the dbms to find the actual record or combination of record from the physical storage the actual retrieval of data from physical storage has been taken place through this level of mapping there is another concept called as schema the overall description of database is called as database schema we have three levels or three views so there will be three different schemas the data at external view is described in external schema the information at conceptual view is described in conceptual schema and the information at internal view is described in internal schema so we have three different schemas which refers to each view so you can see that for external level we have external schema 
for conceptual level we have a conceptual schema and for internal level we have a internal schema these schema define the data which is available at external level conceptual schema define the data which is available at conceptual level and internal schema define the data which is available at internal level so we have three different schemas so this is all about the mapping between different views to read more on this you can refer my book simplified approach to dbms thanks for watching this video